all drills are not created equally. Let me rephrase that. The operation of drills is not equal. Now you've heard us in the workshop talking about drills, drill drivers, impact and rotary or SDS drills. But understanding the fundamental differences of how these drills work and differ is what's important here. A drill without hammer action is for drilling through wood and steel. These drills are not designed or even suitable for drilling through brick and concrete. We'll cover these in another video. An impact or percussion drill hammers along the length of the shaft in one plane only. Now these drills can usually be set from hammer mode for masonry to non-hammer mode for wood and steel. They take a round base drill bit and are the drills that most of us or you have at home. Now a rotary or SGS drill is designed for masonry work. And yes, it also hammers along the length of the bit, but also sideways in the direction of turn. And this is why SDS drill bits are shaped like this at the base. The chuck needs these grooves to grip onto. Now changing bits is as simple as pulling the chuck cover and the bit pops out. The bit is also designed to float a little within the chuck and this is part of the design. This is what helps it get through the wall. In fact, the best way to describe this is to show you. So we're gonna have a drill off and just to say we are not comparing brands and models, but rather the drilling actions. Exo's gonna take the impact drill, I've got the SCS, let's go make some noise. So we're both going to be drilling a six millimeter hole into this wall. Yes, and we need to make sure that we're using masonry pits. These work by chiseling away at the masonry. This is the part of the drill that does the work. The helical fluids are just there to remove the debris from the hole that you're drilling. Kevs, are you ready? Let's go. I'll be using the SDS with a six mil bit. Exo's got the impact driver also with a six. Then we're gonna put on a larger bit size. I'll be taking a 20 millimeter, Exo is 16. A tip here when drilling a large hole is to pre-drill it with a smaller size first, especially when you're working above 12 millimeters. Then follow through with your larger drill bit. Welcome, how are you feeling? Hey, I'm shattered Kevs. SDS really does a great job with the concrete. Let's go drill through some wood and steel. Why not? So Exo, as you saw, the SDS gave you a proper hiding in the concrete challenge. Now it's time for some wood and steel. These drills can drill into steel and wood by setting it to drill only mode and by using a chuck adapter. You can see there the SDS turns a lot slower than the impact drill. It will get through wood and steel, but not as fast as that guy. So a clear win in the wood challenge. And I think I know the result for the steel, but let's see anyway. <laughs> so as you can see, this one is a big win on both wood and steel. We we'll leave the SDS for the concrete. Good idea. Our drills are rated with blows per minute, or BPM. That's how many hammer blows can the drill deliver at maximum RPM with no load. The higher the number, the better. Now chucks are either keyed or keyless, both having their pros and cons. Correct. A keyed chuck needs a key to tighten and loosen, but can really grip the bit tight, which I prefer. Now a keyless chuck, slightly quicker to change bits, sometimes it's difficult to get the bit nice and tight. Now these chucks obviously only take certain sized bits. With the majority of them, this will be 13 mm drill bit. Now this bit here is a 16 mm drill bit, but you can see the end has been tapered to fit into a standard 13 mm chuck. Now, if I'm wanting to drill through wood and steel, simply turn off the hammer function, replace the bit with the correct type, and away you go. So if I'm in the market for a drill, now that we have the differences covered, what else is there to consider? Good question. Power. The more powerful the drill is, the less strain you put on the motor, and if looked after, will probably last a lot longer. You also need to consider if you're going to go corded or cordless, and if you are buying cordless, buy into a brand that the batteries are interchangeable. And today, we mainly use cordless models. It's just a lot easier when you're off on a job site. However, the same principles apply to the corded models. A hundred percent, Kevs. So, in conclusion, if you're gonna be drilling into wood and steel, the impact driver is a clear winner, and it can drill through masonry. However, if you're planning on drilling lots of holes into masonry and want a tool that is built to minimize fatigue and also designed for brickwork, Get an SDS. The choice is yours. It all depends on your needs. In the ideal world, get both. And Builders has a wide range of power tools available in store or online at builders.co.za. And for more videos like this, check out the blog on the website. 
Get to build this. Get it done.